Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kicks. I really want to thank everybody for all the wonderful support on Facebook Live and all the great ideas and just the great support that I'm getting from the channel and from all of you. But uh, one of the biggest requests that I keep getting over and over and over again is healthy food items. Keto friendly, just healthy food items. So. I decided for this episode, we're going to go healthy and I'm going to make a zucchini encrusted fish and I couldn't think of a better shoe to pair it with than the Nike Air Max 180s. Nice running shoe to keep you fit and a nice piece of fish to keep you full. So let's get on with the episode. We're first going to start by seasoning the fish. So. We'll take a lemon and squeeze both sides. And the fish, I'm using a catfish. You can use any white flaky fish for this recipe. And then we'll take my wife's fancy salt and pepper shakers. They're very pretty. I joke with her all the time because I'm like, I don't want to use them, but they're too fancy. But honey, look, I'm using your salt and pepper shakers. We just want to make sure both sides are seasoned with salt and pepper. Just make sure it's nice and evenly coated. And now we'll go to the zucchini and crust. So what we're going to need to encrust our fish is one pound of shredded zucchini, two tablespoons of chickpea crumbs, and they're replacing bread crumbs, a lot less carbs in it. One teaspoon of garlic. Four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. One half teaspoon of lemon zest. One half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, because I always gotta put a little spice in my food. and one egg. And then we'll mix that together. Mix that all together and then we'll put it on our fish. So I thinly spread in the zucchini and crush it on top. You don't want it too thick. If you want it to cook evenly and I did it on both sides. And now let's cook it. So we're gonna put some butter and olive oil in a pan. Whatever your preference is, as much as you like or as much, just to get the fish encrusted. Our one filet in. Two filets. And you may lose some of the encrustion on it. So, just take it and add it back to the top. We'll let that cook and then we'll get to try. And we're back with the shoe review. Phil has been hard at work reviewing the Air Max 180 for me. Having you, Phil. No, 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 no. I got the rest of this. Thank you, though, for your, your only hard work. No, 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 really, really. I, I got this. I got it, really. Anyway, back to the shoe. The Air Max 180 was a follow-up to the Air Max 90, which is a hugely popular shoe to this day. And at the time, the Air Max 180 was the most technologically advanced shoe of its time because of this, the Air Max unit. Unlike the previous shoe, the Air Ma Max unit was totally encased in the foam, unlike this one, where it is not. So it gave the runner a more closer to the field, closer to the ground feel than the previous shoe. Also it's got that 180 Air Max. Originally designed in 91 by Tinker Hatfield and Bruce Kilgore. It's uh, still one of the more popular Nike Air Max shoes to this day. Uh, for running, uh, it doesn't keep up with running shoes of today. Uh, you know, like the Ultra Boosts or 
Nikes, other Air Max models, but uh, it's a great lifestyle shoe, you know, for just wearing a pair of jeans or hanging out. The best part we get to eat it now. Let's see how it came out. Wow. I'm not gonna say anything, but it's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> again, so I kind of stole this recipe from another restaurant where they, uh, in Florida, where they encrusted it in potatoes. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna try a zucchini. And it is, it is very, very good. Uh, if you want to dress it up a little, you want to make it a little different, and you don't, you know, you don't really care about the calories, you can always make a quick, easy sauce with it using a heavy cream, garlic, and like a Dijon mustard, and put it on top and make it even fancier. But again, thank you for the challenge. It was great making this recipe. Um, again, if you're liking what you're watching, subscribe, like, share with your friends, and remember. Without you, I can't do what I do. Until next time.